Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how you can set a default listing view on your WPL. So the WPL comes with two listing views. There's a grid view, the one I'm showing on my screen, and the list view. If you have the advanced portal search, there's also a map view, and it looks like so. All right, so let's go to the back end. We have to go to pages and select all pages and locate the page that has your search activated on it. So let's go to edit. All right. Like so. So these are the short codes that we have uh, for setting the default uh, listing views. So um, if you want to set a grid as your default listing view, you can just select this short code and enter it here, like so. And um, let's select the default listing view as map, put it in like this. Update. All right, now let's go and take a look at the page. So even if I go back here, it automatically opens the map view as a default listing view. It looks like so. But uh, the key point here is that we can still change the, um, the listing views to other ones, like so. There's also a short code to prevent that from happening. So let's try a different kind of listing view. So I want to remove the option um, of switching listing views. So this is the short code for it. And by the way, these short codes can be found in the article that's linked to this video. And I want a default list view. So it's going to look like this. All right, let me close this. So right now what I did is I turned off the switcher and I made a default listing view as a list. So let's go back to our page. And as you can see, these are now um, in a listed manner and there is no option to switch the listing view. So that's pretty much it.